Ciao a tutti. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, welcome on the behalf of Polish Book Institute and myself. I am Anita Vincentius Patena, an art historian, art critic, and assistant professor at the Eugeniusz Geppert Academy of Art and Design in Wrocław, Poland. My main uh, research area is book illustration, and therefore, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the latest tendencies uh, in Polish book illustration for children and young adults. As we have uh, the caption, the latest trends, uh, what we treat as the latest period is something like five recent years. So the background for the situation is quite impressive, as you can see from this slide. Annually, in Poland, children and young adults are able to benefit from an impressive in numbers and its variation offer of circa 3,500 titles of about 40 publishing houses which specialize in this profile. Quite a large number of other publishing houses treat these audience, namely children and young adults, as a very important addressee. Um, when thinking about uh, the phenomena of uh, different tendencies that shape the actual state of uh, Polish illustration nowadays, uh, the very first thing that comes uh, to uh, my mind, but I do hope that all the other uh, who just take a careful look at the Polish um, book offer, is extreme care for every single element of a book design. Not only illustrations, but also accurate arrangement of pictures and spreads, typography, layout, sort of paper, binding, and perfectly considered book covers. While on the other hand, we have an um, impressive variety of artistic proposals. And this can be listed as various styles, artistic manners, modes of expression, various inspiration sources, various artistic strategies and techniques. So variety, variety is something that uh, is a main feature of Polish illustration nowadays. Uh, for the purpose of this presentation, I thought about seven tendencies or seven streams that we can trace in, um, in the recent uh, offer of publishing houses. And let's go to the first one which is post new look or vintage aesthetics, as we can call it. Uh, the first example will be Gosia Herba and uh, Mikołaj Pasiński, a duo working on many uh, projects. Uh, in this slide, you can see the cover of Five Balanova Street, a very merry neighborhood of uh, animals living together, quarreling together, and making different things together as it should be in the neighborhood. We can see it on other pictures as well. So parties, which is like an obvious things to go through, but also the interiors, uh, housing, which is so very important for, uh, for the inhabitants of the Mary neighborhood. As you can see in this picture, it is uh, not only colorful, not only full of details, but also traces back the design which was so effectively used by Polish designers in the late 50s and then throughout the decades of 1960s uh, in ceramics, in glass, in textiles, in wallpapers and in furniture. So many icons of uh, these decayed design are still um, objects of hunting for collectors, and as we see, a in perfect inspiration for illustrators. Paweł Mildner 
will be another good example of uh, certain use of these aesthetic as in the book ice cream of all flavors and this um, use of rhythms once again patterns that associate in our minds we can see in some illustrations from the book so even the architecture uh, even even the architecture on the left side also bring, brings us back a little bit to the modernity of the 60s and uh, the patterns which were so popular in textiles and wallpapers, also on clothing, is again uh, refreshed, restyled, but used by young artists nowadays in Poland. Marta Ignerska uh, in her perfect design of a book, um, I'm All Ears, uh, which uh, was contributed also um, by the uh, uh, music faculty, uh, which is a tale actually about uh, sounds and uh, melodies and rhythms as well. Uh, we probably can remember Marta Ignerska as the winner of Bologna Prize a couple of years ago with the book All Tuned Up which uh, makes her a perfect illustrator of such difficult matter as the music really is. Uh, as we can see in other examples from uh, this book, um, we, we try to translate an abstract language of music into, into picture which can be difficult, but it seems like for Marta Ignerska, there are no difficult issues to uh, introduce. And uh, the last example in this uh, tendency in this group will be right and left, um, drawn uh, perfectly by Kasia Valentinovic, uh, a story which should um, enable children to recognize this very difficult matter of the left side and right side, but also of the left shoe and the right shoe and the funny uh, shoe prints they can leave on the ground. So again, this use of patterns, this multiplicity, multiplication of elements that make wonderful backgrounds like in the um, small illustration we can see on the right uh, top. When we look at the second proposal of a tendency, uh, it is graphic expression of a line and simple forms. So we stick to graphics, but this time, as you will probably also see, the expression is even bigger, even louder, we would say, as it has no borders. Perfect example of the book of the year of Polish section IBBY is Anna Kazimierak's Turons, Żandos and Herods. All these uh, three probably a bit uh, exotic names uh, refer to folk masquerades and folk customs connected with very important traditions in Poland. And thanks to Anna Kazimierak, who is which is worth uh, stressing here, also the author of uh, graphic design uh, of our presentation and uh, all the presentations that Polish Book Institute prepared for the Bologna International Book First this year. So inside the book, you will see faces, masks, heads, or whole figures of, uh, from different regions of Poland, from a different time of the year, but mostly connected with the period uh, in between the end of the year and the beginning of the new one. So the Carnivalesque and all these uh, customs that perfectly inscribed in the most colorful period of the year, not only in Poland, but um, it, it is also very important as it tries to capture the, the traditions uh, the differences in between the regions, uh, regions, and it also teaches how 
how colorful and original they can be. It's a sort of activity book as well. So it allows uh, children to cooperate with the artist and to fulfill these proposals of hers by their own ideas and concepts, which is also very interesting. Another example is Gosha Kulik's realization to the book, Let's Get a Taste for Modern Theater. Uh, and this is really an interesting proposal as, um, as it was in the case of the book about music. This time, uh, it's also not a very easy issue to deal with uh, contemporary theater. So uh, we will get to know uh, not only the history of uh, theater, like for example, uh, in uh, the illustration from the book, we can see dark expressionism, uh, very constructivist in its style. So uh, in, the, in the head of a creator, of a demurque, of a director or an actor in one person, we can see the whole constructed uh, dark world. Um, every double spread in this book is an interesting story um, trying to teach the reader about um, various movements in the theater. Dominika czerniak hoinacka um, won a Bologna Prize in uh, toddler category. So the book is probably quite well known about a chimney sweep and a baker. Uh, but also her later uh, title uh, that she executed um, is a, yes, it's um, the story about who had stolen uh, tomorrow a very uh, interesting book, two volumes, and uh, each of them was designed in a different way. But as you can see from the cover, uh, the use of uh, calligraphy that we associate with a child's hand and also very simple uh, or simplified drawings, as we can see in the illustration from the book, of Leo riding a horse. Um, it also gives us the uh, impression of being inspired by naivety and honesty of children who draw as they can, who are not yet uh, educated perfectly or they haven't had any drawing lessons, but they still can um, depict the word and the feelings they associate with it. A uh, completely different book is uh, Everybody's Eating Pancakes, uh, which is a book about a cookery book uh, about different sorts of pancakes. And as we can see from the cover, they are actually eaten all over the world. So we have the examples from France, as in this double spread, or in another illustration from Spain, with very humorous, very uh, expressive, again, uh, drawings uh, try, that tries to capture the essence of culture, the essence of um, various countries. But as we deal with a cookery book, we also have the recipes. So uh, this is also a sort of activity book uh, because we can cook along with it. And the last example in this category will be uh, Theo's Thoughts, um, an original book uh, written and uh, graphically designed and illustrated by Agatha uh, Krulak. A very um, inner book, I would say, very intensive uh, in feelings, trying to show a uh, word seen uh, by uh, child by a little boy who is not that very standard boy. So his seeing of word is also very unique. Once again, we can see how artists deal actually with uh, the expressionism of uh, children's drawings. Uh, another tendency we can talk about is 
Tender tales of silent stones of pencils and crayons. And in this group, uh, we will start with Ivona Chmielewska, so well known from uh, Bologna winning prizes, not once. And one of uh, her recent projects, uh, Mom Always Come Back, a very dramatic story of a girl from the Jewish ghetto. Uh, very, very whispery I would I would call it uh, so we have great tones uh, quite a long text and the illustrations go deep deep inside the imagination of the girl who is in a sort of seclusion who uh, waits every day for her mommy to come back home and Joanna Concejos, um, wonderful pictures uh, to the short story of Nobel Prize winner Olga Tokarczuk, The Lost Soul, uh, with very silent, again, I would call it like this, uh, using ordinary pencils and crayons, uh, very detailed, uh, but uh, very discreet, very delicate or tender as the tender narrator. Uh, it reveals the story uh, of one man and we, we can witness his life uh, almost uh, at, the, at the most important turning point in his life. Uh, the same, the same um, tendency when we uh, think about it uh, on more technical, um, uh, at more technical point, uh, but of course totally different uh, atmosphere is Alexandra uh, Zion's um, um, execution of the book What Do Feelings Do, written by Tina Ozievich. And uh, again, uh, with the use of pencils, so monochromatic, very, very subtle uh, illustrations of funny little creatures who are actually our feelings. Uh, very simple sentences describe the favorite activities of feelings, like, for example, here we have uh, the calm, uh, cuddling his dog. And uh, yet another use of um, very detailed, very accurate drawing with pencil and uh, just a little hints of colors uh, from crayons. Um, uh, these are illustrations um, by Eva Benyak Haremska to an interesting book entitled Letters to A with the subtitle Alzheimer is living with us. So the subtitle explains really a lot about the, the essence of the story behind the uh, book covers. A little bit remind the, reminding of photography, but as I said, uh, also very silent. And yet more colorful, but also with the use of crayons and uh, simple lines. Alicia Rosé's um, illustrations to the book by Magdalena Tulli. This forest, that forest, with colorful inhabitants of the woods, as we can see them in the uh, illustrations on the meadows, but also a little bit personified sitting at the table as it always happens in fairy tales and fables. So we can go to another uh, tendency, another category, which is painters' modes and manners. So this tendency, I would like to stress uh, also that uh, not only simple lines, simple forms, but also elaborated, painterly, uh, really mm, going back even to old masters, as in example of Emilia Dubak's wonderful illustration to the book called Horror by Madlena Szeliga. So the um, sufferings of vegetables 
uh, like beetroot uh, in this example. We also deal with a little bit uh, of Peter Val, so the collection of crime stories from the uh, previous centuries, uh, a little bit old fashioned, but Emilia Dubak is very uh, consequent here and she goes back to the baroque painting uh, to romanticism to um, um, wonderful landscape paintings but also still lives uh, from old masters especially with these um, neutral dark backgrounds that are so wonderfully well passed to detailed again depictions of little items of our everyday life like here we have garlics and lemon in the foreground uh, also a very good example of this painterly manner is uh, helena siasnes um, um, elaboration a picturesque collaboration of i saw a beautiful woodpecker um, a very interesting uh, book which is a sort of a diary written in August in 1939. So just a few days before the Second World War outbreak. And as we can see in the double spreads, we have wonderful post-impressionist pictures, paintings uh, that can remind us of Nabis, of um, wonderful French painters uh, who used to paint landscapes full of sun and uh, also uh, changing weather which was also so typical for impressionists uh, to capture the moment and uh, like here uh, the coming um, thunderstorm. Uh, Another uh, proposal of uh, the painterly style, although it's not strictly painted, as you will see uh, in the pictures in a, in a bigger close-up, then here is uh, Rita Katmarek, um, uh, reali Rita Katmarek's realization to break down at the PowerPoint, uh, treating the um, streets, treating the animals in a very realistic manner that uh, can bring us some associations with the 19th century painting can be also seen on the double spread from the book. Uh, so also using the, pers the perspectives, uh, uh, trying to contrast the uh, shadows and lights. Uh, this nocturne uh, scene here uh, has also a lot of um, the painterly atmosphere we talk about. Uh, in these cases. Another tendency uh, is a little bit mixed perhaps uh, because on one hand I would like to point the connections, the relations of Polish um, uh, nowadays illustrators with folk art, with a very rich uh, tradition of uh, Polish folklore. Uh, and on the other hand handcraft in general. So using uh, textiles, using paper cuts, uh, different techniques that uh, leave uh, the typical uh, artist's tools like paint brushes, uh, pencils, crayons or um, uh, ink and pen uh, aside. So let's see the examples. The first one is um, Małgorzata uh, Dmitruk's embroidered illustrations to the tale about Wojtek, a stork. And uh, perhaps the, the cover wasn't that very detailed as we can see here on these uh, mm, um, perfectly um, um, reproduced. So we can see the threads, we can see um, the stitches uh, and we can follow this uh, very simplified but wonderful um trace of of the needles uh, work in this folk landscapes and here the scene with the main protagonist Wojtek a stork uh in uh, in his nest 
Marianna Okleak's uh, designs, uh, these are from her author's book, her original um, project of Wonders of Wonders, uh, which in a natural way goes back to this treasury of Polish folklore, because we have not only the the patterns, the images of animals like uh, cocks and peacocks in these uh, illustrations, but also a very popular technique of folk artists, namely uh, paper cuts. And here we have um, flowers, uh, which follow the original folk um, decorations used especially in clothing, but also in decorating house uh, walls in the countryside. Uh, Gabrysia Gorączko, uh, in the book written by Tomasz Kendra, A Matter of the Forest, uh, also uses <coughs> folk patterns to give the shapes to original plants in the forest. So uh, we can associate the trees on the right side more with uh, a decoration of spoons, uh, wooden tools used in uh, old uh, houses, uh, but also uh, clothing decorations. So uh, it is also a very nice and very um, innovative uh, way of using the old folk uh, elements. And uh, an example uh, of handcraft, um, I would rather stress this, uh, this um, aspect in the tendency, um, um, the duo, the artist duo, Eva Kozura Pavlak and Paweł Pavlak. Um, Eva is uh, very, sub, uh, very uh, consequent in, uh, in the use of uh, textile collage or a sort of application. So she cuts out tiny elements of uh, different fabrics and uh, glue them together. Um, and as we as we see the cover, um, the butterfly on the cover is from the little atlas of butterflies, um, whereas the illustration on the right side um, comes from little atlas of forest animals, and the uh, frog, uh, which is also worth stressing here, has uh, various artistic images. A photo. Um, taken by uh, the artists themselves, a uh, textile collage um, performed by Eva Kozera Pavlak, and watercolor sketches uh, executed by Pavel Pavlak. So, this wonderful combination of various artistic idioms, very, um, varied artistic techniques, is also a perfect combination in, uh, to, to be found in these books. Around comics and cartoons, uh, this um, is also a very uh, important tendency in contemporary illustration. Uh, I would uh, risk <clears throat> that this tendency is probably the most universal, uh, but it's also quite obvious, especially um, one of the reasons, uh, quite, quite probably, is uh, that um, mm, Many books um, are popular, um, are examples of popular science and uh, huge loads of information. The books are packed with information, uh, seems to be perfectly illustrated by uh, charts, by um, uh, different uh, graphs and uh, this graphic uh, essence, this graphic style seem to be, uh, seems to be very uh, useful here. So a design by Zosia Frankowska and Jacek Ambrożewski to the book Travelers about great Polish expeditions. And we have uh, one more uh, spread from the book. So you see on the left side, we have the, uh, the map and the route and of course the globe <laughs> and uh, some um, pictures more narrative uh, some episodes from the expeditions of um, old and contemporary travelers 
uh, the 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 style, this cartoon-like style, is also used in um, very funny novels, a um, beloved series um, by Polish uh, children and very young adults, which is about um, crazy socks. Uh, Zbigniew's green uh, feather is uh, <coughs> the latest uh, chapter of Justyna Bednarek's series of the books, uh, all of them illustrated by, by Daniel De La Tour with expressive, very humoristic, um, very um, detailed, again, but dynamic and very colorful illustrations. Another wonderful example of uh, comic and cartoon style um, we can see in Marcin Stegielski's series of books. Uh, another one under the title Modeled Up Boyfriend is a recent uh, proposal. And as you can see in the illustrations, uh, a lot of action, uh, the use of frames, uh, captions as well, the text. So everything that we can associate with uh, comic stories, maybe not that very traditional, but also traditional solutions we will find, as in the example of the next uh, author being Nikola Kucharska. Uh, the text uh, by Marcin Przewoźniak, uh, uh, also a comic story, Knock Knock, uh, Is There a King? And here we have no doubt that we deal with um, traditional sort of uh, comic, uh, as we have uh, the story shown in a series of um, pictures uh, framed with speech bubbles and uh, repeated uh, characters, uh, but also accompanied by a longer text, as it's perfectly seen in this double spread. And which way to Yellowstone? Uh, new winner <laughs> from this year, Bologna. Alexander and Daniel Mijelinski, uh, perfectly known duo. Uh, let us remind the maps with the word um, tour and word fame. Uh, this time they traveled to national parks and uh, uh, three protagonists um across the whole globe they are really in every nook and corner of the world uh, visiting uh wildlife but also visiting their friends in every of the um, national wildlife park uh, what is interesting again is this um impressive load of knowledge as we see the details of plants as we get a lot of information about the uh, the islands the countries the animals living there the climate as well and uh, the the use of these um, uh, ordering up uh, comic style seem to be perfectly used by Mijelinskis. Uh, quite avant-garde approach to uh, comic is uh, introduced by Janek Koza in uh, the, the book uh, A Gift for Two, written by Mikołaj Łoziński, uh, which is a, surpri a totally surprising story of two early born twins. Uh, so definitely a proposal for um, young adults. Uh, how it is uh, being a um, fresh parent uh, and how we can cope with, uh, with uh, kids uh, who are very, um, very decisive. Uh, so as uh, in this double spread, you can see also the speech bubbles uh also the repetitive scenes of uh sufferings of a young uh, writer who uh spends a lot of time at the desk and his computer or a laptop but uh, very ineffectively and the last category uh is of course the least uh, uh least described because i gave it uh title individual proposals and there are of course plenty of them but i would like to uh, 
stuck with two names only. The first one, Maria Strzelecka and her book, uh, Best of the Best Kids. The Best Kid Mountains is a ranch in the southeastern Poland. And she uh, decided on a very interesting dialogue between old times and new times, but also in the uh, view of aesthetics. As you can see here in these three illustrations, uh, the style goes back to the 40s, the early 50s, social realism, uh, old encyclopedias and the books, uh, popular science, uh, scientific books for children uh, getting to uh, no, trying to, to, to teach the children about the nature, about the history, tradition, and so on and so forth. But the second part uh, is modern, although deals with the same region and with the same traditions of picking herbs, for example, of, or um, uh, treating the tradition in uh, modern times. So she uses digital illustration, she uses computer design, and uh, the same arrangements, the same um, associations with old atlases or old encyclopedia is this time shown in a very modern uh, language. The last name is also a wonderful um, symbolic figure of Polish illustration, namely Józef Wilkoń. Uh, born in 1930, he's over 80 years old now and he's still active, which is absolutely wonderful as he's one of the giants of Polish uh, school of illustration, of Polish illustration till today. And uh, he was responsible for the graphic design and the illustrations for the books uh, proposed by the Polish Book Institute as uh, the first books that uh, children on different levels of their development receive, uh, either as the very first books or the you know, first books to accompany them going to the kindergarten or at the very uh, first steps at elementary school. Uh, his style and in a natural way uh, evolved through all these years. But also what is certain about Jose Wilkong is that he always wanted to deal with experiments. He used many different techniques and now he's not afraid of computer. So brave Mr. Wilkong, we're proud of him. Thank you very much for your attention. I do hope that these tendencies were uh, at least so interesting and attractive as we tried to um, present uh, in the slides. And uh, I would also like to uh, say that the majority of the books um, shown by me are included in a special catalogue published um, and prepared by the Polish Book Institute, especially for the event for the International Book First in Bologna. Thank you very much again.